in this video, I'm going to be discussing nine fun things to do while on psilocybin mushrooms. Now, if you want a more comprehensive guide of all kinds of different things that you can do, as well as tips for beginners who are just getting started with magic mushrooms from all the ins and outs of when to take magic mushrooms, how to take them, how much to take them, and precautions to take and so much more, feel free to check out my ebook in the descriptions below for all that and more. So to get started, my first favorite thing to do on magic mushrooms is to get out in nature. In our modern society, we are deprived of nature. And it's through mushrooms and taking mushrooms that you feel so deeply connected, not only to yourself, not only to others, but also nature as well. And for me, my go-to place to take magic mushrooms and just to feel really good and connected is to be outside in nature. And certainly you could do mushrooms indoors, but for me, it just doesn't feel the same. There's something about being outdoors, uh, connecting with nature and the mycelial network and everything that makes doing magic mushrooms outside, underneath the stars, underneath the clouds, a really profound experience. Second thing to do on magic mushrooms is absolutely nothing at all. Another thing about our society is we are just go, go, go. That has its place in time, but it's also super draining and it's not really how we're meant to be living our lives. So to do magic mushrooms and to give yourself the time and space to just relax and just let the magic mushrooms work on you is something to be had. So I encourage you, if you have the opportunity to do mushrooms, to do absolutely nothing and just see what comes up. And this is normally a time where when you're doing absolutely nothing, that you are allowing yourself to process shit, to go through trauma, to go through things that have happened in your life who have made you who you are, maybe at a default, and to correct those things or not necessarily correct them, but to see them for what they are and to move on. So doing absolutely nothing on mushrooms while out in nature, that's the ticket for me. Uh, and that's what I encourage most people to do is just to do absolutely nothing at all. Just let whatever comes up, come up and just feel into it. The third thing to do on mushrooms is to listen to music or listen to live music. Music sounds so different <laughs> on mushrooms. You pick up all kinds of things that you might not have heard otherwise in like a sober mind frame or you know maybe even while drinking. So I encourage you to listen to music. Music can really take you through like emotional uh, stages too. You know when the music is building up and there's just like all of the instruments working in tandem to create something really beautiful. It can create something really beautiful out of your experience as well. You can find that you are laughing, crying, that you're processing stuff. So through listening to music, you can really enhance your experience. And even so, if you are listening to some live music, to see live music, to see people strumming away, singing out loud, that in and of itself is a beautiful experience as well. The fourth thing you can do is you can watch something. Now this isn't really my go-to thing. In fact, I don't really ever sit down and watch anything, but it does have its time and place. I encourage you to be selective of what it is that you are watching. So the times that I've actually sat down and watched something while on mushrooms were not pleasant experiences. And I think it is because I watched stuff that wasn't really conducive to an awesome trip. Uh, the first experience, I watched the Goofy movie, and I talk about that more in my ebook. The second experience was watching the new Willy Wonka movie with Johnny Depp, which is creepy sober, <laughs> and it was creepier on mushrooms. So be selective of what you watch. Uh, something that might be beautiful is the Fantastic Fungi. I watched that sober. The fifth thing is getting creative. Let your creative juices flow. A lot of people like to do art, they like to play instruments, 
bang around on a drum. <laughs> they like to paint and journal, all of these different things, whatever you feel called to do. There's something to be said about taking mushrooms and feeling stimulated and letting your creative juices flow. The sixth one <laughs> is get naked. And I say this as a woman who has experienced uh, two different kinds of eating disorders at separate stages in my life and who has dealt a lot with body image issues in the past. One of the most healing things for me was getting naked in front of a mirror and just loving on myself in all the best ways. Uh, so I know a lot of people are turned off by mirror work but I really encourage you, especially if you have body image issues and hangups, to do the mirror work, to face your fear and to do it anyway. Because what you will find when you are looking at yourself naked in the mirror on mushrooms, all of that bullshit, all of that social conditioning is just out the window. It no longer is in your head anymore. What is in your head is, oh, holy shit, like, I'm a beautiful human being. What the hell have I been hung up on all this time? And that's what's come through for me. Um, and this is, you know, this is now I'm at a healthy weight. And this has also been, you know, I've journeyed with mushrooms and done mirror work when I was about 10 and 20 pounds heavier than what I currently am and still was able to find love for myself and self-acceptance and just look at myself and be like, what's the, what the hell is your deal, girl? And that's what comes through. Uh, that has not only been my experience, but also the experience of plenty of my friends too who have gotten naked and done mirror work to help with their body image issues. Continuing on with the naked thing, <laughs> number seven is having sex. And this is consensual sex with a partner or with yourself. Um, <laughs> But having sex can be a really awesome thing. It can be a really bonding thing if you're doing it with somebody who you love and cherish and who loves and cherishes you. Or if you're just feeling like in the mood and you don't have anybody else around, it can be a really awesome time for self-exploration. It's therapeutic if you have had sexual trauma in the past to do mushrooms and to just kind of like nobody else is around and you just kind of figure things out and work through some shit that can be very powerful. So I encourage you that if you feel called, and trust me, you don't wanna have sex every time you do mushrooms because it can be very dose dependent. But if you have the right dose and you feel called and your partner is on board with it, it can be a really good time. So the eighth thing that you can do is get extra sensory with it. So what do I mean? Um, so when you are on mushrooms, things appear brighter, Music is better, as I mentioned. The visuals are great. So get more into that, embrace it. So I encourage you to have a kaleidoscope. Uh, kaleidoscopes are really cool to look at. Showering is cool too. Having the sensations of the water just cascading all over you is a really cool experience. Eating some fresh fruit is amazing. Some berries, mango, whatever it might be, whatever is your choice fruit tastes like 10 times better while on magic mushrooms. And the ninth thing to do is just to work through your bullshit. If you are new here, welcome. But most of you know that I am a big proponent on working through your bullshit through the use of psychedelics, specifically through mushrooms. So when taking magic mushrooms, one of the best things that you can do is just to relax, not do anything as I mentioned, and try to work through some of the stuff that's holding you back. You know, recreational use of mushrooms is great and that does have its place in time, but nothing can beat trying to process and work through the stuff that has kept you limited, it's kept you stuck, it's kept you in a victim mentality. Working on yourself, while taking mushrooms is so therapeutic and it's so worth the experience. And if you only have very limited access to mushrooms, it would really suck <laughs> to hear that, you know, maybe all you did was do them recreationally when you could have had the chance to really go deep with the journey and to do a lot of healing work on yourself. So those are my nine ideas of things to do while on magic mushrooms. If you have something that you want to contribute to the list, feel free to comment below. 
please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, look me up on Instagram, I'm at Kelly underscore Hanner. And also, if you feel called to support my message, I would really appreciate uh, if you became a patron of me. Uh, so look me up on Patreon, I'm at Kelly Hanner on Patreon as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Peace.